how to redirect stripe payments to your thank you page hey everyone welcome i hope you're all doing great in this video i will show you step by step how to get this done now i need to note straight away that the thank you page is going to be for your website from your website so if you're um you know if you don't have a thank you page you will need to create one and have the link for it so in my case i don't really have one but i just used my google sites here as an example and i did create a page which is a thank you page so i'll just be using this one in my case but you can feel free to not feel free but you will need to use the thank you page that you have in your website um that you're selling things in and so on so just go in and create a thank you page and make it ready for use now this is step one and is it is essential because you know stripe is not going to generate a thank you page for us Okay, great. So now that we have this done, we can just go ahead and go to Stripe and sign in and we can just go ahead and get started from there. So I'm just going to sign in and see you in the dashboard. Okay, great. So once you're in the dashboard, in my case, I am in the test mode because I did not complete my account. So it's not going to actually work, but I can just show you things and test things out in test mode. But for you, you will need obviously to continue activating your account and turn off test mode. And it's going to be exactly the same way. So once this is done, you will need to just go to transactions from the left panel in the dashboard, click on transactions, and then you will need to click on create a payment from the top right, click on that, and then you'll have a few options here. I need to create the payment link, make sure you select the payment link. So just go ahead and do that. And then from here, you will need to go to the select type option. Make sure it is a product uh, or subs subscription because most of the time if you want to do a thank you page, it's going to be this way. But if it's for, for donation, for donation, you can also select the second one and it's going to also work the same way. And regardless of whichever one that you actually select, it's going to work exactly that way. But for my case right now, I'm just going to do products or subscriptions. Uh, and in here, I'm just going to, you know, um, add a new product, uh, which I'll just do like so. And I'm just going to give it a name and some random stuff. And we can just go in and continue after that. So after you add your product and everything uh, in here and set up the payment for it, uh, you can also, you know, have more options here. Feel free to see them through. So collect customers' addresses, require customers to provide a phone number and so on. These options are going to be obviously up to you whether you want to turn them on or not. But most importantly, you know, except for these options, is that we want to click on after payment. In this page, we want to select the confirmation page to become don't show confirmation page. So just go in and select this one. And then in here, you will need to paste in the uh, link to your thank you page that you already have in another website. So in my case, like I said, it's going to be this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, I'll copy the link for this page and I'll just go ahead and paste it in here basically. So once you copy, you basically paste it in here. And once that's done, you will have the option to create link on the top right. Click on that. And we are pretty much good to go. We have our link for the payment. So you can just go ahead and copy this and, you know, add it to your uh, product page or whatever it actually may be. And then when somebody actually opens up this link, and basically completes the checkout and click on pay, they will be redirected to this page here. So this is all for this video. Hopefully you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching.